everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a lighthouse project. We're right here in the middle of summer, so I figured it was appropriate to make one. I've already got the patterns printed out to full size and attached to our three pieces of quarter inch material with clear packing tape. Here is the pattern. The first layer has all the details in the lighthouse and the little cottage at the bottom for the lighthouse keeper. Has some veining in there that we'll do to make the details pop real cool. The next layer has a sailboat on the horizon over on the ocean. And then the back layer has the seagulls flying in it and we'll paint this piece here a nice blue color for that ocean and tropical vibe. Once you layer all three of these pieces together, once everything is completed, it's going to give a nice scene and have a nice 3D effect. But really, really cool. Since everything is prepared, let's head over to the drill press, draw our pot holes so we can head back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And all three layers have some form of internal cutting on them. But once all the pilot holes are drilled, we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. I am using number five ultra reverse scroll saw blades and they will cut through the quarter inch material here exceptionally well with minimal chip out, which is always good when it comes to sanding. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's Scroll Saw Workshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I've done this pattern before, way before I started filming YouTube videos, and I always like the 3D look of it once everything is layered. And of course, me being a pirate, I love the beach. And as many times as I've ever been to the beach, I have never seen a lighthouse yet. But it's on my list. I would love to go see all of them. But taking my time here and letting the blade do the work. As I said, all three layers of the project have some form of internal cutting in it. And the little house here at the base of the lighthouse does have some veining in it and that's what you see me doing there where I just simply cut into the wood and then back the blade out to create a visual line there and it gives it some just decorative detail but once again taking my time and letting the blade do the work I believe Steve Good has a few of these projects that are layered like this that create a scene and they always look good when made and cut out. But now that all the internal cutting is done, I'm following the perimeter of the ovals, being as loyal as I can to the cut line to cut everything out. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now that all the scroll work is done, we'll remove the patterns from the wood and the pieces from the waste wood and get a visual of what it's going to look like and head over to sanding with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. And then we will take two of the layers over to the area here and stain it and I'm using some basic Minwax stain. But I will stain everything, get it nice and coated, and then wipe everything off and hang it on hooks to dry. And while it's drying, we will spray paint the backer board a nice ocean blue color. And then we will begin to glue up with Gorilla Wood Glue after everything has dried. And I've never had an issue with wood glue separating from painted surface with the Gorilla Wood Glue. But we will clamp everything and I will go and have lunch and let everything dry up and then around an hour later we came back and removed the clamps and took it over to the belt sander and sand everything nice and flush making sure everything is nice and even and then we will head back over to the final staining and stain the border here 
and it really makes everything look like it's one nice and uniform piece instead of three individual layers of wood. But after this is stained, I will let it dry around an hour and flip it over and give it several coats of clear gloss and the project is complete. And here we have the completed lighthouse portrait made completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazing. Thank you Steve Good for another great pattern from your catalog. Really, really cool. I had fun making this. It took me around 25 minutes to scroll everything out. Not a very complicated pattern. It does have some tight turns in it if you want to practice that if you're new to scrolling. And it has some veining down here where the lighthouse keeper lives in his little cottage. But really, really cool. And the three layers really give it that 3D look, which is always cool in a scroll saw project. I hope you guys like that flush sanding tip that I have. I do that on a lot of projects that have multiple layers on it, especially if they need to be perfectly square. And that just makes them have a uniform look and make it look like one solid piece of wood instead of three individual pieces like in this project. As for finishing, there is several different ways to finish this project. If you're very good with a paintbrush, you could paint all three layers. You could stain them all three different colors. If you're very good with a paintbrush, you could go back here and paint um, clouds or the sun or something. The seagulls in the back really, really is a cute detail that's added, but really, really cool. I had fun making it, and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below the videos. I hope you all have fun this summer and get to take a trip or two with your family or loved ones. That's about all for this one. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.